In other news, nearly four years after Favro Valley homeowners approved the Barisi Village project, work still has not started. The developer Jeff Blackard wants to build an Italian style village with both a retail and residential space, but the project has been tied up in court since 2014 by a minority of homeowners. They uh, don't like their development. Their lawsuit was they filed against uh, that the lawsuit they filed in federal court was thrown out and it was also defeated in state court last year. But now they've taken their case to the state court of appeals and there's no word yet on when the appellate court will be hearing that case. Of course, all of this has left Favreau Valley homeowners in limbo and they want a resolution before their property values plummet any further. Uh, Greg Chandler is live in Favreau Valley this evening and Greg, the old country club is one of their biggest concerns. Lee, I'm standing on what used to be the country club's tennis courts. As you can see, it doesn't look like anybody's played tennis here for some time. Now, people I spoke with in the neighborhood say the country club and the condition of the country club, as well as the adjacent golf course, threaten their property values as well as their safety. I don't feel completely safe if there are homeless people living on the course. Prescott Williams thought he got a great deal when he bought this house in Faro Valley North last year. Williams says he'd heard about homeless people coming from the golf course, but hadn't actually seen any. That is until one night when his video doorbell recorded a homeless woman using his porch swing. It's a little alarming, of course, to wake up early in the morning. Uh, and see that your doorbells captured a uh, visitor. Incidents like this are part of why Faro Valley property values are dropping. What used to be a golf course is a, a feral field. It has been that way for going on nine years now since the club had to close its doors. Chris Kuhn lives across from the old tennis courts. She says in the last three years, her property value has dropped $30,000. <laughs> And she's not the only one. Kuhn expects property values to keep dropping until work starts on Barisi Village. It would improve the looks of the area. It would improve our property values. It would improve people's morale. Now, most people here say they are confident Barisi Village will eventually be built and are willing to wait as long as it takes, though they are getting frustrated with the process. Lee? All right, thank you, sir. Well, Blackard says work on the Barisi Village project will get started as soon as this project clears the courts.